So let's start making a program on star delta starter. So initially we will took uh, suppose let's go to the inputs. There will be x0 for start push button which will start our whole circuit. Start. Okay, just straight start. Another x1 is for stop. Okay. And what will be the other inputs? Mm, there will be many inputs. Let's talk about them later. Okay, so what will be the output? One is a main motor, one is star contactor, contactor, second is delta contactor. And we've also seen that there is a timer. What is a timer? Timer to chain over from star or star to delta. Okay. Now let's start making the program and when we require other inputs, we will enter here. Okay. So initially what we will do? Just start and output will be our uh why do take a memory bit okay this memory bit so it will start m0 now we will latch it latch it how by taking a parallel of this m0 and join it from the first branch okay so now it will latch it. so when we start this x0 this will high and even after we remove this x0 it will remain high so what will you do for stop we will use this and see and our stop push button is here okay so it will be start x0 is for start this is for stop so what will happen when we press this x x0 this call will start this call will do one thing it will start our main motor okay which is y0 also it will start a timer okay why is the timer to count the pulse count the time because after few seconds when the motor will start in when it start rotating at full speed or even the full rpm then it should be converted or should be changed over from star to delta okay so that's why we require timer so before timer what will we do we took Similarly, x0 will start the main motor. Here we will take not x0, we will take uh, y0. Okay. So, cancel it. Okay, so delete. And this main motor, y0, uh, sorry, y0 will start the star contactor. Okay. So, this output y1 so what will happen when we press this start push button this mo coil will energize this mo coil will start this main motor and also this main motor will start start contactor so initially after push button pressing the push button main motor and star contactor will start together now after 5 or 8 seconds we have to switch it from star to delta so also with this mo m0 a timer should also be start okay okay sorry so insert a row here we can take a timer which is tmr t0 and suppose we are taking for 8 seconds so 8 okay now join it okay this okay so now what will happen after pushing this start push button main motor and this timer will start and the main motor will tend to start the star contactor and the motor will start in star mode. After a while, when 8 seconds is going on, when motor will be in its full speed, okay, so what will happen? This is T0. When T0 will high, what will it do? It will stop this star contactor. So how will it stop? Take an NC and E0. It will stop the star contactor and parallelly it will start our delta contactor. Okay, so what will happen? 
this will stop and this will start okay and main motor will continue to start so now main motor will, main motor will be switched on to delta after 8 seconds but also there are some other safety features which will be required what are these safety features suppose this star contractor will only start when star de con when delta contractor is off so what we will do we will take a nc of y Okay, so now star contactor will go high only if the delta contactor is off. Similarly, we will take another NC of Y1, which is star. So when star contactor will off, then only the delta contactor will go high. And there is also an OLR, which we have seen in last video. Okay. So now we are starting starting delta. So also OLR. So why is OLR? Motor should not be start or the current going to the motor should not be very high. So what we are doing, we are taking an interlock of OLR also. So if OLR goes high, the motor should stop. So we are taking the NC of OLR and suppose it x0, x1 it is okay so x2 is olr give it the name here x2 olr okay yes so olr so if machine the system is running and suddenly if the current become very high so what will it do it will cut off this circuit m0 will off which will tends to stop this output this timer and whole circuit will stop so it is also a protection. Now run this program and see how it works. So go into simulation mode, compile this program. There is no any error. Go online. Okay, this code is very big. And start. Okay. So what I am doing? Starting this push button. Okay. So what will happen? Mode motor and star motor both start together. And after eight seconds what will happen yeah delta contractor and main motor started so this is our star delta starter if i okay let's stop okay if i have to stop this motor i will press this stop push button now the whole circuit stops okay again start this now suppose the motor is running the circuit is running very well okay it's you know it's switched on I switched from star to delta or maybe it is running start and suddenly the current going through the motor become very high then this OLR will be tricked okay it is tricked and the whole circuit stops so here our interlock are working very good so this is a basic circuit for star delta starter okay hope you understand try to make this circuit from your own practice it because it varies is very basic and it will also ask me interviews in my one job the interviewer asked me to draw a plc ladder logic for star delta starter okay so thank you